Hey everyone, welcome to Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this type of photo slide show in the Avenger Resolve 15 by using Blackmagic Fusion 9. So let's have a look and get started. Alright, so let's open DaVinci Resolve 15. Okay, so create a new project. So click on this new project and rename it to Slideshow and click on create. Okay, now go to the setting and set this playback frame rate 30 fps and timeline frame rate 30 fps and set this resolution 1920 to 1080 and click on save. Alright. So now go to the media and let's import your footage or image file. So go to folder and just drag and drop your footage to this media pool. Okay. And go to the edit tab and let's rename it. So click on this option here and rename it to image and hit enter and just drag and drop to the timeline. Something like that. Okay, now set the duration of this image something around 6 second and 1 frame which is equal to 180 frame. So just drag it. Okay, now let's fit this image. So double click on this image and go to inspector window and here is zoom. So just drag this value something like that. Okay, now right click on this image and click on this new VFX connect clip. Okay, and just rename it to slideshow and click on create. Alright, now we are on Fusion 9. So just right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap. And as you can see, there is a two node over here. Press it something like that and deattach this connection okay and click on this window layout one for single view and increase the size of this uh, preview window okay now press control and scroll up to zoom in okay now let's attach a crop node to fit this image with our composition settings so select this and press control plus a space bar for search box and search for crop node so this is a crop click on okay and drag this crop to the viewer okay now select this crop and click on this CC button and add a color corrector node after this crop node. So click on this CC and add a color corrector node and drag this color corrector to the viewer and select this color corrector and go to properties and here is master saturation. So set this saturation value zero and make it black and white and uh, drag it over here. Okay. Now take a transform node. So click on this XF to add a transform, place it over here and connect the output of this crop node to this transform one and drag this transform to the viewer. Okay. Now select this transform and go to frame number around 180. Right click on size, click on animate and go to frame number zero and set the size value something like 1.3. Okay. So it's looking something like something like that now add another transform node so select this color corrector and click on this xf to add uh, another transform node after this color corrector and drag this transform 2 to the viewer okay now go to frame number 180 right click on size click on animate and put the value 1.01 okay and hit enter and go to frame number 0 and set this size value something like 1.2 and hit enter so it's looking something like that okay now we have to create a mat node so click on this busy button to add a background node and press f2 on the keyboard to rename and rename it to mat and hit enter and add a rectangle mask with this mat so click on this and add a rectangle mask drag it over here and select this rectangle and create a rectangle something like that okay 
and go to frame number zero right click on this center click on animate and go to frame number 150 and drag this rectangle something like that okay now take another background node so click on this bg button and rename it to mat 2 hit enter select this and add another rectangle mask with this mat 2 and place it over here and set this mask something like that okay and go to frame number 0 right click on center click on animate and go to frame number 150 and drag this rectangle something like that okay now let's merge this both mat node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow point to this and green point to this and drag this merge one to the viewer so it's looking something like that okay it's just select this rectangle 2 and go to frame number 150 and drag this something like that click on this fit button okay now go to spline window press f4 on the keyboard to full screen and click on this one button and check this rectangle 2 and click on this fit button select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and make the curve something like that now check this rectangle 1 and click on this fit button select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and create a curve something like that now press f4 to exit and go to flow window and it's looking something like that okay now let's uh, duplicate this so select all this node press ctrl c to copy and paste it over here by pressing ctrl v okay and select this rectangle and go to these properties and uncheck this solid box and create a border width so just drag this merge over here and create a border width uh, something like 0 0.003 and hit enter okay now select this rectangle uncheck this solid box and put the value 0 0.003 and hit enter okay now select this mat and pick a color something like white and click on ok and select this one and pick a color white click on ok okay now it's looking something like that okay now let's add a merge node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow point to this merge one and green point to this transform two and drag this merge tool to the viewer and select this merge tool and go to properties and here is operator option so change this over to in so now it's looking like that okay now let's take another merge so connect this yellow point to this merge tool and green point to this merge one and drag this merge three to the viewer so now it's looking something like that now go to frame number around 20 and select this transform to and press ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for directional blur so so this is our directional blur node click on ok and select this directional blur and here is length so set this length value something like 0 0.01 and hit enter okay now we have to add a text over here so take a text plus node place it over here and take a merge node and hold shift and attach this merge over here something like that okay and connect this green point to this text okay now type a text something like 05 and change this font style to century gothic so this is our century gothic font style you can use any type of font style and just increase the size of this and click on this high quality button turn off this auto proxy and uh, set this value somewhere around 1 and hit enter and change this bold to regular 
okay now set this text over here and set this in center also okay now select this merge 4 and uh, here is apply mode so change this normal to soft light so it's looking something like that okay now just increase the size of this flow window now take a merge node and place it over here and connect this yellow point to this transform and hold alt and create a junction something like that and connect this green point to this merge 3 and drag this merge 5 to the viewer so now it's looking something like that okay now we have to add a shadow node so press ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for shadow this is our shadow node click on ok hold shift and attach this shadow node over here something like that okay uh, set this softness like 0 0.05 and go to this this option here and here is blend and set this blend value somewhere around um, 0 0.2 and hit enter now we have to add a text so go to frame number 180 and uh, take a text plus node so click on this text plus place it over here and take a merge node so click on this merge button hold shift and attach this merge over here something like that and connect this green point to this text and select this text and type your text whatever you want to type so i'm typing a photo slide so photo slideshow and right click on this click on this character label styling go to modifier option expand this option and select all this text and uh, change this font style to century gothic so click on this and now select this slideshow and change this bold to regular okay now select all this text and uh, set this over here okay now go to tool and here is layout so right click on center click on animate and go to frame number zero and drag this text something like that and go to spline window press f4 to full screen and check this text 2 and click on dish option here select this keyframe press s to smooth and uh, create a curve something like that okay now it's done so press f4 and go to flow window and now let's check this animation all right so it's looking awesome so let's attach this shaver node just connect this yellow point to this merge 5 and drag this to the viewer and then click on this render button and click on start render okay render completed click on ok and click on this davenzi resolve and now your effect is ready so yeah that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i will see you next tutorial till then bye bye